Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Chatty Chat with your host, Bailey. How's it going everybody? Doing another late night video, the munchkins in bed. We just got home yesterday evening at 2 o'clock in the morning. Finally got my coffee fix. We're good. Um, today's a uh, review. Um, I received in the mail a array. Uh, some are okay colors, some are like darker. They're they're more of a like just a traditional uh, color spread um, of some thermal powders from Born Pretty, and I'll adjust the camera. We'll go down here. I'll show you guys uh, how they came packaged, what they came with. I got thirteen different colors in here, and they also sent me an odd little gift with it. Uh, it kind of I think it's a cookie. I don't know what it is really. This is weird. It's like a patch. I don't know. Um, but we'll adjust and we'll see how the packaging is. I'm going to do um, some swatches off camera and then show you guys uh, how these work. So pause, adjust the camera. Be right back. All right. Hey, fun hands. Okay. So here are the 13 colors. Um, I just have the. Uh, jars switched over here so you guys can see these colors some like i said some real traditional colors there's like a, a pink uh red kind of like a in between reddish orange orange yellow like a dark like not too dark hunter uh yellow well yeah maybe it's a hunter um then we have like a forest green which is much darker turquoise kind of like a royal blue a pastel blue uh, this is more of a darker cobalt blue. Uh, this is like a royal purple. And this is like a dark chocolate brown. And I hope you guys can see all this. I have my camera a different way here. Um, but two of them came in these hollow packages here. And then the rest came in these uh, frosted uh, pouches here and every single one came with one of these little um, what do they call it makeup applicator um, for burnishing so and it seems like every single one has obviously the label no um, identification or uh, color name or number and I think this one's cross-threaded. I'm gonna try this one here. Open these up. They're definitely on there, the lids. And they are sealed. Yeah, the seals are good. So these powders go from the color that they are to a white um, in the heat, I believe. But like I said, I'm gonna do uh, swatches because I'm just making my swatches for my wall for people to see. I'm trying to be super careful because these are really powdery. I actually, when I opened it up, up one of them to see what it was like, uh, I kind of got pink everywhere. So there's, one, there's that, uh, I hope you guys can see that. Really gorgeous purple, really vibrant. I can't wait to see that uh, that color change. So I'm gonna pause just for a few minutes. I'm gonna take all the seals off and uh, we'll get swatching and see how these turn out here. So I will pause for a second, be right back. All right, so before I go on to um, doing the swatch nails. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what they look like uh, without the lids and the seals on them. Um, pretty happy with actually how full they are. Uh, this one's a little lower than the others, but again, like I hope the, the camera is doing these colors justice because this is like just a great traditional color palette uh, to choose from. Like these thermal powders are really great for like hidden designs and things like that. So, yeah, they're, uh, I like that they're super full. 
super full and you got, uh, make sure you have if you ever if you uh, get these or order these or whatnot make sure you have something to uh, wipe your hands with because if you don't go really slow with peeling the seal off they kind of just go poof everywhere because it's a it's a very fine powder and uh, oh I also forgot to mention uh, this was also sent with it I don't really know what it is I think it's like a jacket patch or something it looks like a weird little cookie it's kind of cute um, I don't really know what I would do with it but that also came with them so yes I'm going to pause once again and I'm going to swatch all of these and we will be back with some hot and cold water and see how these work. So pause once again, be right back. Pause, 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 pause. My camera's not working. Pause, pause, pause. Bunny hands, bunny hands. All right, so I just got my swatches in the light here and there it goes. Um, so all doing the swatches, I've only done one burnish of each color on these and I've done a white background. Now, what I've noticed is the powder does not completely change. So if you don't, like for instance here, I've missed a little bit of top coat. If I don't put top coat on, I'm either gonna keep it, um, gonna keep the color or it's not going to change at all because this stuff does not change in powder form. It's going to remain its own color. And also here, I had a little bit of wet polish. So if you wanted to achieve the actual color in the pot on the nail, you could definitely take the powder and mix it like this. Um, I did the white polish behind. As you guys can see, it's, they all kind of go white when they're hot. And now they're just kind of slowly coming back down to uh, more uh, cool at room temperature. So if you wanted to get like, say this is the, the dark green, one of the dark greens, and you wanted this color on your nail as a color and you didn't have it in a polish, you could definitely mix it with a white polish and you would achieve that color. Now, I don't know since it's like this isn't changing in the light. So I'm assuming if you do mix it with a white, um, you're not going to uh, get that thermal effect. You're just going to get that solid color. Um, they're pretty pastel. Um, I now and, and again, I've only done a single burnish of each. They're pretty pastel. So if you wanted like a lighter um, color change, uh, definitely go one coat. And it's also um, you can definitely layer them, do two or three layers, um, burnish top coat, burnish top coat to get a darker effect. But uh, the color change is pretty pretty neat here I'm trying to as you can see they're all coming back to color here really slowly but they're super cool um other than the fact that uh my fault with the polish here uh didn't catch in the uh, the lamp all the way with my, my little sticks here um I'm pretty happy with them other than I would probably use a makeup sponge uh if i grab one of these one of these guys where i can actually this is for my gold chrome i would take it and dip it in and get a full cover rather than these streaks because i use the little makeup applicators and i'm getting these streaks from the powder as i'm burnishing so i don't really like that look and so i would probably switch those out and use a sponge because i find these work really great for burnishing especially the um the chrome powders you get a good solid burnish and you can really rub it in and get good coverage because i really don't like i don't know if you guys can see that there that super super like that streak it almost it just looks really super streaky and uh i don't like that look very much so i'm probably going to switch out my little makeup applicators for those but uh, yeah, the, the blues are pretty close in color, but I guess it all depends on, you know, how many layers again and the design that you're going for. 
But uh, all in all, I am uh, pretty happy with these. They're super fun. As you guys can see, they're obviously changing back. So they're thermal, but they all go white. So I can, uh, I'll show you guys again. I put them, in, put them in the lamp and they get warm. So you can definitely do uh, disappearing, reappearing designs, which are super fun. Um, I really wish I got a black powder. Black is a super fun one. Um, I am finding though that the yellow is having a hard time changing. Uh, I don't know if it's the powder type or the pigment or whatnot, but yeah, there you go, see. So they all kind of go, they go white. They start to go white. I didn't leave it in the lamp for very long, but a uh, water change would probably be better. And again, didn't leave it in there too, too long, but yes. So that's that. I'm going to pause for a second and I'll see you all back up top. All right. So, um, I haven't actually like tried them on nails, nails. Like again, these are just swatches. So, um, I'm hoping to do, uh, maybe some like disappearing, reappearing, uh, nails, see how those turn out and do like another review or perhaps a tutorial. I get pretty busy and I don't always get to get to tutorials, but I would love to because these are super fun. Um, yeah, I think that's about it there. Uh, yeah. So thank you for, uh, sending these thermal powders to me. I'm going to play around with them and see what goes on. Um, Click, comment, like, subscribe. You guys see what time it is? It's 12 o'clock. Click, comment, like, subscribe, and share with the universe. Keep coming back, YouTube family. You know I love you. Follow me on Instagram, bc underscore jazzy underscore time. And please follow my business page, Beautiful Nails by Design. Beautiful spelled B E E U T I F U L. And I post. Everything I do on there, uh, my nails, uh, clients, uh, medical pedicures, toes, all that fun stuff. So go check that out as you can see the time. I'm going to go for a siesta. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the this little review. Super fun. Um, I'll definitely uh, try and get to... Uh, tutorial for you guys to do some disappearing reappearing stuff so yes and huge I hope you all stay tuned and stay jazzy